What time is it? It's right, it's Mr. Pickles time, yeah! It's always been time, you just didn't realize it yet. It's timey, whammy, timey. Okay, so what I'm doing is, I thought I'd, I'm cleaning Mr. Pickles' cage, so it's not feeding time. So it's actually Mr. Pickles' cleaning time, bath time, yeah! You know it's always been time. But why I'm videoing it is because, oh man, let's see, I spill all over stuff, which makes me, I gotta clean that up. Um, I've had a few people who say, yeah, I had a <clears throat> African bullfrog and all of a sudden he just died. Um... I'm gonna, I thought, you know what? This is the reason why I clean Mr. Pickle's cage probably at least once a month. Completely clean it out with my shovel I got from a garage sale for 50 cent. It's metal. Um, Cause what happens is, is what I believe happens, cause it's all mysterious, is A, Water bowls can harm or harbor bacteria. If you ever go to hospitals, you'll see that they don't have those little, a lot of them take out fountains or any kind of sitting water now because after a while bacteria colonizes on that and some people, some people can have a bad reaction to that bacteria. Well, with frogs, I mean, we're talking humid areas, heat lights. We're talking perfect parameters for bacteria infections, bacteria growth, period. Different fungus growth. I mean, this is like perfect. So, I don't know if... I almost... The one the minute I get like a white... If I can pick that up. Let's see, it's kind of hard because I already started scooping. But the minute I can get, <clears throat> the minute I start seeing like a white, grayish, um, let's see if I can get this in better light, sorry. I don't know if you can really see that. It's almost like a grayish, white growth of some kind on the top of the substrate. It's time to clean. There's one reason why I do not use a water bowl. Unless you're taking that water bowl out and, and bleaching it or putting it through the dishwasher. I mean, just rubbing it out with your finger is not going to take out any kind of mold or bacteria. It's or fungus or what. It's not going to do it. So it might look clean, but you just, all you did was take the colony that's there and lessen it by a little. But that stuff can, that stuff's, uh. Uh, reproductive cycles is so high. I mean, 20 minutes, you could double the culture. So, you know, that's I, that's one reason why I just don't do water bowls. Mr. Pickles is going on seven years old. He's babied. He's spoiled. He's sung to multiple times. Each Mishta, his name is Mishta Pickles. He's just a little baby. <sighs> oh, he's spoiled. So he's getting his bath time. And that's the way I, with, you know, I'm using, what am I using here? What am I using? Hold on, let's keep scooping. Let's just keep doing our jab. It's job time right on, yes. Doing our job time, cleaning me to me da. Scoop all this out. Oh, yeah. Living dreams and you know what I mean. Boom. I consider this to be a lot of winning going on. So if you're... <clears throat> I know that there's a lot of people who... Get all worked up when I say don't use a water bowl. Well, my African bullfrog loves my water bowl. I'm not saying they don't love water bowls. 
But if you're going to give them a water bowl, it's going to be a lot of work for you. Because there's a lot of people that... I'm trying to get all this... Oh, sorry. I'm trying to get all this in the corner. There's a lot of people that lose their, do their frog to all of a sudden, out of nowhere, their frog died. Well, it's... After a while, you put all the pieces together. Did they have a water feature? Yes. Almost all of them have some sort of water feature. Or they use, you know, like black dirt. They've, they've had the black dirt in there for months. You know, well, your frog more than likely got an infection. Or had, there's so much bacteria growth in there that he got sick. I mean, these things aren't indestructible creatures, even though he thinks he is. And of course, Mr. Pickle has got his own floor. We're using, what brand is this? Exoterra Plantation Soil. Now, I was, there's Eco Earth too. I don't know who that's made by, Eco Earth. So there's two different types of, uh, that comes into brick. This was a three pack. Um, Tropical terrarium substrate. Ooh, that's so scientific. It's just coconut husk, I think. But uh, plantation soil is a little bit more gritty. And Eco Earth is a lot finer of a chopped up brand. I don't know. I mean, I know Mr. Pickles, If he, he's an ambush hitter or hunter, so... I don't know if, if there's like little bugs that get in there or if the substrate is as it's drying collapses like he'll make a little mound where he's sitting and then as that stuff dries it might collapse and he might see the movement and eat some. Um, if he hasn't gone to the bathroom for a while sometimes what I'll do is I'll just go get some eco earth which is a lot finer so if he is eating it it's not getting all blocked up in his system. Um, but usually, I mean, he goes, he doesn't go to the bathroom every time, but he does go to the bathroom most of the time. So they kind of go number two at their own leisure. But usually when I put him in the water, if he's all, well, you guys see when I'm doing a video, he looks like a big lovable pillow that you just want to hug all night and say, mommy tuck me in. I feel so good right now. I don't know where that came from. He is a pillow, and he's holding all this water. And then you put him in his bath. Look, he's all excited. Where's my food? Where's my num nums? You know me. What, what are you doing to me right now? I don't want just a bath, slave. Jeez, Mr. Prickles. Look at his eyes. So beautiful. Let's see. You're just so pretty, Mr. Prickles. You're just so pretty. See how hungry he is. Kids, don't try this at home. <laughs> no? Like I said, sometimes he's hungry, sometimes he's not. Like if he was, no. If it was any other time, that my finger would have been nabbed, tried to nab that. Okay, so now, I take some trusty, rusty, dusty paper towel. And I just try to wipe. Now, every once in a while, oops, sorry, I will take this whole cage apart and thoroughly clean it because, like I said, bacteria, it doesn't take much for a bacteria colony to get out of control. Now, it still needs moisture, so the minute you're taking out all the substrate, and replacing it, I mean, you really hinder that culture way down. But you and I both know that after a while of doing the same thing over and over, nature has a way that maybe the bacteria that doesn't need much moisture survives because we're not taking that out. So that starts populating. Life has a way within limits. So, let's go over here. We'll wipe down the front of the glass. 
so we can see our beautiful boy, Mr. Mista, in the morning. Say good morning, Mr. Pickles. And if he blinks at you, you know you're going to have a great day. He blinks at me a lot. So there. I mean, it doesn't have to be. And I kind of let that sit for a minute. Let it kind of dry out. I got to find a different way of hanging that mask. Because right now the mask hangs on the background. I got to have it hang from like the top somehow. To where I can easily take this thing apart. But this setting it all up, it looks pretty. But it's a bear to undo it all. And then get everything reset up because like that right there you know that could be a mother colony we don't know I don't have a I don't have a scientific degree in bacteria growth but we just I, I just I, my heart breaks when somebody's you know my my African bullfrog passed away last night for no reason and do you have a water bowl yes well, he loves his water bowl. He lo Yeah, he loves his water bowl. You got to get like three water bowls. And sterilize one. Maybe maybe put bleach in it. I mean, this is just an idea. I'm not telling you what to do, but put bleach in it. And then uh, then put it through, then rinse it off really good. And then put it in the dishwasher. Let the dishwasher do its cleaning. Then rinse it off again and let it dry. And every day, every day, maybe get five water bowls and do, you know, four of them all at one time. I don't know, but you got to sterilize those things, guys. You know, and guys who have big water features all part of their aquarium, you know, it's, I, I, I strongly believe it's all bacteria issues. The frog gets sick and slowly pines away and it just, you know, kills them. In nature, they, in nature, bacteria still has a way, you know, ultraviolet sunlight. I don't know how it gets controlled in nature, but frogs somehow survive. Well, where these frogs come from, I mean, they go through months of drought. They're under, they're under the ground most of the year. But... I don't want to scare you guys. I'm just saying for Mr. Pickles, I do not do water features. He has this water feature right here that I can completely drain and let dry out. I just keep his substrate moist. And the minute I see growth on top of the substrate, I replace all the substrate. It's not that hard. I mean, I just took it out. All I got to do is take that bucket and dump it back in. Let's do it. Let's just do it. I'll show you how it's done. Let's just get her done. Okay, this is the... Part. Trying to. This thing ain't like. Alright, we'll go like this. Ugh. Okay, okay. Miss a miss that. Ah. Ooh. Oops, sorry. I am a winner. Alright, hopefully I didn't flip that somehow. Alright. And you just kind of, it was two bricks. This is a 36 by 18. So I used two bricks. Oops, so that one's not quite dehydrated completely yet. See, sometimes you'll end up with a chunk like that. but You just stick it right on in and get her done. All right. And then I got my plants in hot, hot water. Kind of loosens up all the stuff that's on them. Now, hot water does not kill bacteria. Sometimes soap in water doesn't kill bacteria. Sometimes you need to kill it with bleach or some equivalent. Now, frogs are highly sensitive to bleach, so don't... Oh, he's saying use bleach. Listen to him. Listen to him. They're a frog. They're a frog. They don't need bleach. They'll kill them. This guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Really? I already know that bleach kills frogs. I'm saying that you got to find some way of killing bacteria... Bleach kills bacteria, so, you know, you got to find incorporate some way of doing that, and it's, you know, you got to take your time. 
because you can really injure a frog if you put if if he's able to have a lot of bleach if he's if he has to deal with a lot of bleach they absorb it right in their skin so that's not good i'm just saying look how pretty that is it's magnificent oh there's crazy eyes we haven't done an episode with crazy eyes yet well not yet we did the one where he was trying to steal the limelight away from mishta mishta we'll have to do another one of those so there you go Aquarium clean, I rinse all that out, I rinse that out. I got a trash bag, it's a five gallon bucket. I just got a trash bag in the bucket. So I just walk that right out to the dumpster and dump it in. Hey Mishta, Mishta's getting spoiled like crazy. Look at him blinking at us. Oh yeah! Well, 15 minutes, all right guys. So yeah, I that's why I'm doing this video is I just, man. To have a, takes a while to get them this big. They're not cheap to feed. <laughs> He's a pig. And then just to lose them randomly. Oh. Not saying I won't lose Mr. Pickles, but so far that's the reason why you see me not have water feature. I'm able to clean it all out. Now this stays very moist. About once a week I'm adding that that's like a gallon and a half, maybe two gallons. I fill that up more than halfway. I think once a week or once every two weeks, I'm dumping a, a I'm dumping it in, so you just got to keep it pretty moist. But how's this pack? Oh, yeah, it's breaking down pretty good. So you just got to keep the substrate moist. But do it the way you want to do it. I'm just giving you my opinion. And we'll let Mr. Pickles continue to get babied and spoiled as always, which the missus loves. I totally love it. You love the Mr. Pickles? I love Mr. Pickles. Ooh, you hear that, Mr. Mita? The missus admits it on TV. The missus uh, loves you. Why wouldn't you? Look how big he is. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Tank's feeling jealous. Oh man. Mr. Tank. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good weekend. I'll see you later. Bye.